As the race for the presidency heats up, we thought it would be a good idea to send our own Raymond Arroyo onto the streets of New York City to get the pulse of the voters on all the candidates and the issues that they're focusing on ahead of 2020. Any candidate that you think on the Democratic side should run against Trump at this point? I don't know about should. None of them are, seem to be qualified, seem to be able to hold a candle to compete against him. Who should run against the president? Wow, that's another really good question. Um, <laughs> after the first debate, I think there was there were more questions than answers. Um, it's going to be interesting. I don't think any of them stand a chance against Trump at this point. I think they keep getting each other's way. I mean, mm. I, I don't think there's a uh, solidified solidified party. I mean, no one's representing the people they're trying to represent, small facts. What is the issue driving your vote this election season? What will you be most looking for and at? Well, I'm a little scared of socialism, so that's going to be a big, you know, take on why I vote the way I vote. And, um, and I think the immigration issue right now is kind of a disaster. I'm most focused on how great the economy is right now. I mean, it's doing fantastic. I mean, we have an immigration problem at the border that a lot of people seem to be uh, denying. I mean, it's there, uh, but, you know, he's working on it. I think just whoever can move our country forward. I mean, I think that's the big thing on everyone's mind, from economics to all the big issues that people are fighting about um, that I'm staying away from. You need to be a politician. You know that? You're all right. You've got, you've got, I like that. You've, you've got all sides covered. Uh, Maybe you should run. Uh, well, um, we'll see. All right. <laughs> look at that. Time. Well, he won't even give me a straight answer on that.